So about one month ago, I was one of the first channels on YouTube to make a video talking about the upcoming new electric dirt bike that could potentially one-up the popular Suron. But now finally, thanks to Hamimoto, I'll leave his channel linked down below, we have some actual riding footage of a prototype of this bike. So today, I wanna go through the video and see what we can learn. So first I need to clear something up from my original video. So in that video, I said there's two versions of the bike, the Mantis from Raw and another one from E-Straps, but that was wrong. I reached out to both companies and the Mantis from Raw is the only legit source. Also, the owner was super cool, answered all my questions, and now the listing on E-Straps is completely removed. And just so you know what you're looking at, this is all the major specs of the Raw Mantis. A few things to note is that the bike weighs 150 pounds, the battery is 60 volts, 35 amp hours, and the nominal power is 4,000 with a peak of 7,500 watts. And this is how it looks side by side with the Suron. So the Mantis is quite a bit more heavy. It also has more power, but the battery is actually a little bit smaller than that of the Suron, and it costs 5,000 bucks versus $4,500. Now, when I was emailing the owner of the company, I did ask if they're gonna have a 72 volt version at some point, and he said that right now, that is the plan for later on in 2023. Here's the actual screenshot of this bit of information from the email. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for this, but he said in the email that the rough price point at this point in time is $6,000 for the 72 volt version, but they're not sure yet. So we're talking roughly a $1,000 premium for that 72 volt version if it comes out. Okay, and the final thing I wanna point out before jumping into the video is that on the website, the current 60 volt Mantis looks like this. Take a second to really look at this. Notice how the, the seat over the battery kind of dips down. Now, if we come back to the spec sheet that the owner sent me, the picture of the Mantis actually looks a little bit different. You can immediately notice that the seat is completely flat and we have things like a headlight, a tail light, blinkers, and even a spot to put a license plate. So I think, my opinion, this is what roughly the street legal version is gonna look like whenever that launches too. Okay, and finally, as promised, here is the first ever riding footage of a prototype of this bike. And I'll leave the full video linked down below. I highly encourage you guys to go watch the full thing. And there's a few key things I noticed here, differences with the Suron that I wanna highlight. There's actually a chain tensioner right here. And I'm not sure I like that approach. Uh, the point of this is to keep the chain, you know, on the sprocket where it should be, but it's a very low tech, simple approach. In comparison, this is the drivetrain of the Suron and they have a primary belt and a secondary chain drive. And the entire point of the setup is that the secondary chain that goes to the back wheel originates from the pivot point of the rear swing arm, eliminating the need for a chain tensioner. So the primary belt drive is right here, bringing it to the pivot point, and then the secondary their chain goes from there to the back wheel. So no matter how the suspension compresses, the chain is always at the proper tension. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's a huge difference, but it is something I noticed. Okay, now the next question that this video answered for me is how much low-end immediate torque and power does this bike have? We know from the spec sheet that technically this is more powerful than the Suron, but that doesn't always perfectly translate to the riding characteristics. But we can see from this clip right here that initially off the line, there's a ton of torque. You see how the front wheel completely came off the ground. So that confirms that this bike is indeed extremely powerful. And that's the whole point of electric dirt bikes. You want them to have a ton of low end torque. And then finally, we do have a view of what it looks like when you're sitting on the bike. And it looks extremely similar to the Suron. We have the, the key ignition over here. The whole top of the suspension fork looks almost the same. But unlike the Suron, we do have lighting controls. On the right-hand side, we have the switch between normal and sport mode. And this is the display, but again, this is a prototype, so this is probably gonna be different on the production model. So that's more information on this brand new upcoming electric dirt bike. Personally though, I'm more excited for the 72 volt version coming out later in 2023 because that's gonna go against the brand new Suron Ultra. And that's gonna be a very fascinating comparison. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Bye.